No, it's not nylon fishing line. Looks like it, but in fact, it's fiber optics or light pipe. See, light goes in straight lines from me to you. It doesn't turn corners unless you can put it in a pipe, make the pipe turn corners like a hose, and then just like the water out of the end, the pipe will come out, the uh, light will come out of the end of the pipe. That sounds a bit confusing, but let's show you what I mean. Here's a bit which is about uh, two meters long. I'm going to put one end through a piece of dark card. By the way, it uh, doesn't look like it, but it's quite complex stuff. It's got two layers, one on the outside, which uh, helps bottle in the light. You can't just use ordinary nylon line for this, as I'll show you later. I'll put that black card over the light to stop any stray light from getting around. And now I'll hold the other end over here, and if we drop the studio lights and go a bit wider on it, you'll notice that that isn't glowing in the dark. You can't see any light escaping from it at all. You might, though, if I uh, find the end of it, which is just down here, be able to see that just at the end it has a very special property. Here we are, drop the lights again, and if I turn it towards you, lo and behold, there's the light coming out of the end of the light pipe. Turn it to one side, you lose it, so it's not coming out sideways, and it's not the end fluorescing because if I put it away from you, you don't see any glow at all. Turn it back towards you, bingo, light streaming out of that towards you after going round and round and round many corners. So it's a terrific thing, light pipe, for taking light from one place round to another and giving you a very minute light source. Well, being useful like that, it can also be decorative, and you find light pipe lights of this kind, with the light inside the base, and it comes streaming up the fibre optics and comes out at the end, rather like this, if I turn off the desk lamp. OK, you can see just the ends glowing there, uh, and the light inside is changing colours, which gives you a terrific sort of decoration. OK, well, that's uh, the decorative side, but it has a more serious side as well. For example, this thing is a light meter, and this is a light probe, and it uses fibre optics, so it can bend round corners. And instead of having to take this great lumping box around, I can just take the very flexible probe. There's a scale on there, and it tells me, uh, on a comparative measure, how bright things are when I point the probe at them. So if I point the probe up towards the studio light, a very bright one, you're getting a reading there of around about four or so. Turn it round and measure the brightness bouncing off my jersey, which is fairly light. You'll notice it's only around about, uh, about one. And if I put my finger over the end, block off all light, it drops back to zero. So I just wave this little probe around instead of waving the entire bit of equipment around. So that's very good. Light can come out of light pipes and it can go into them to be measured. But uh, why can't you do it with nylon line, which looks rather the same? Well, simply because nylon line loses all of the light almost immediately. I've got a bundle of them, and if I put them through a black card, even though they're a bundle and uh, much bigger in cross-section, I drop the studio lights, you'll see what happens. They glow up where my finger is. All the light is bouncing out sideways and being lost. So at the end here, you're getting hardly any of it coming through, although it's only really about four centimetres long. So it has to be very special fibre prepared out of plastic or glass with that coating. But in fact, if you get a lot of light pipes and bundle them together like that, you can get some very, very interesting effects. Firstly, you can have a light at one end and send it down through some of them to light up down at this end without any heat or any electric bulb being there. Secondly, you can look down others, the light goes back to your eye, taking the picture. And being very clear, they convey a very good picture. And you can take half the bundle, send one to your eye, one to a camera, or whatever you like. And that's very important in doing operations in confined spaces inside your body. You see, this is a close-up of a knee. And that little yellow plug is where operating tools are going to go in. If we just freeze the picture for a second, you can see what's happened. There are light pipes going into the knee through one hole. You can see the red spot really around the yellow plug. That's the glowing light inside the knee joint. And some of the light fibres are coming up again to the surgeon's eye. Others are being fed off to a camera. And that's the picture you're seeing in the little round spot. So that you can see, as the surgeon operates, exactly what he's seeing down the light pipes. In goes the probe, onto the knee cartilage, and starts to feel its way around. And because this light pipe material is so very, very clear, it really is as good a picture as looking through a window. So there you've got them. Light pipes, taking light into confined spaces, taking pictures out, and giving us a new way of operating completely in the dark.